my deaf girlfriend just told me we need to talk. That's not a good sign. Welcome to Shave and Butcher for a, a quick shave before we head off to the airport for a bit of traveling. And today I'm shaving with this one. This is F Mercur Progress. I usually get it wrong. This is a, an adjustable razor. It's a nifty thing, adjustable razors. You, um, you turn the knob at the bottom, yes. Mommy! <laughs> the old man said knob. Yes, he did. You turn the knob and that, <clears throat> that changes um, the blade exposure, whatever it's called. So you get more and less aggressive shaves, more and less uh, efficiency in the shave. So I play around with this and you can, and you can, you can have different settings on a first pass and a second pass or a third pass. I typically keep it at the same one, but it's, you know, it's, it's great um, diversity, if you will, when you're shaving. <clears throat> the soap is Batters Up from No Blotter, my second shave with this soap. And it's, it's a beauty, it's beauty, it's beautiful. So is the brush, going with a board brush today. This is, uh, this is the Zenith copper handled bore and it's taken quite uh, a patina. It's quite a bit darker than it was from the beginning. And that's, that's a cool thing with metals, you know, they, and wood too. If they're not lacquered, they, they change over time. <clears throat> so I'm going to load from the container this time. So that's ruining the soap surface. Oh, but that's what, what I usually do. I want to get a good, good load and then we're off to the races. Mommy, the man said he's a racist. No, I didn't. And I'm not. <clears throat> I'm very liberal. Okay, let's see if that was enough. I think so. Boar brushes require more soap than other brushes. They suck up quite a bit of soap and that's okay you know soap is cheap it really is and the fact that they do and they require a little bit more work than at least a synthetic brush is part of the charm so dipping it a little bit I don't intend to muck, muck about with the, with the soap too much today. We'll see. Rather more on the quick and efficient shave side. Yeah, so t certainly not an overload. But this is enough. This is quite enough. And I like, I like board brushes. I have a few. They, uh, they bring something to the shave. They need to be tamed a bit every time you use them. You use them. You know, usually I would go longer, but, but that's quite, quite good enough. <clears throat> okay, rinse a bit of water on the, on the razor. I always do that. Do you do the same? And why? Why do we want to rinse the razor? I do the same thing with straight. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like, sometimes it's not even warm water to heat the metal up. It's just, does it have, do you know? Does it, does it have a purpose? Yes, it adds moisture, but What's good with that? Mm. 
What's good with that if you already have a perfectly moisturized lather? I wonder. Because if you do it to, to heat the metal up, I get that. That's a nice feeling on the face. Maybe that's why I do it. I just haven't thought about it for years. Let me know what you think. And what you do. Yeah, so off to beautiful Switzerland and Geneva, where meeting our local guy there and going to a conference thingy. I like, I like Geneva better than other Swiss towns like Zurich. I mean, Zurich is so clean and efficient that it's, it's almost scary. Geneva certainly is not a slouch, but it's, I don't know, it just feels more, it doesn't feel more French or Francophone. Well, of course it does, but it doesn't, you know, there's a big difference. Right when you cross, cross the border to, to France, it's a different thing. It's more, you know, which I quite enjoy. Oops, weeper already. Geneva is nice. It's expensive. Like Avon said in a comment, you want to stay away from the casinos. Let's see, we don't have that kind of money. Another weeper. It's funny. I get more weepers with the safety racer than with the straight. I think maybe it's because I'm not as careful. But it, it could be just poor technique. There we go, a bit of blood, Jesus. Jesus and Mary Jane. I probably will need to use some alum on this to close up some of the some of the gaps that comes from shaving too close to the blood. Maybe it's because I'm rushing it a bit. And I am, but I don't think so, because I get weepers even though I, and I take it slow. Quite good enough. Certainly is good enough. The blade that's in it is an Astra uh, Green, whatever it's called. And I've used it four, three, four, four times maybe. Yeah, bit of alum, I think. Where is it? There we go. I've had the same alum block since I started shaving. It's shrunk, but it's, you know, it's hard to wear out a, an alum block. A bit of a sting, quite, quite the nice one, nice kind of sting. We'll see if that does it. 
you know, it's not a cut. I and mean, you can uh, you can have uh, styptic pencils. I've never tried that, but that's better for if, for stopping actually stopping the blood. For aftershave, I'm going to use Thayer's witch hazel because I'm, I don't want a scent in it. I'm putting on a bit of perfume. This is Encre Noir from La Lique, which I very much like. That one's going to stay. That one too. What can you do? Pretty, pretty idiotic to shave just before you head out. If you shave half an hour before, you can see where the weepers take you and sort of clean yourself up a bit. Um, which is usually, usually the better choice. Guys who know that I'm a traditional shaver, and most people know because I don't stop talking about it. Just put some of the dome. They always think it's quite funny when I come to work or wherever with a bit of a cut. And they go, hmm, maybe you should have had an electric razor. And I go, no, life is too short for electric razors. If you have one, throw it out. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna get dressed and get going. See you next time. A bientôt. Stay sharp.